Hello and welcome to an improved Madison Studios tutorial. In this one we're going to be going through graphic styles within Adobe Muse CC. Can't think of anything else more to say so let's crack on. So at this stage they can interact with it just like they would do on the web. They can go onto its pages, view the contact details and I've just put in a little Google Maps placeholder as it were. They can scroll up and down, see how the background interacts with the foreground elements and the sort of illustration style that I'm wanting to go for. So now, if we hop on over to Muse, they've got back to me with the changes that they wanted to make. They didn't like the wooden background. I felt it was quite warm, but at the end of the day, it's their website. So instead they wanted me to replace it with a pavilion that they've got. So I've put that in the background. But now this brown menu is not working quite as well as it did with the wooden background. So we have to then work on the theme, the graphic styles. Now if we click onto the home screen, we notice that the welcome box works very nicely. It's nicely placed within the image. You can clearly see it is separate but it gets the information across. This is what we're wanting to do. I am wanting to get rid of that cone, so don't worry, it's not gonna stay there. Hop on over to design view, and then selecting the box and expanding our menu, let's go on to graphic styles. Now make sure you've got the box selected, and if you hover over box styling, give you a quick preview of what that style consists of. It's got a glow enabled, color R96, G56, B19, so on and so forth. If you go on to style options simply by right clicking, you can also see the style settings. Now, we've created that as a graphic style. If we select the menu and apply that same style, it applies it to that one menu. But, of course, we want to apply this across all of them, so select the whole thing. Move it into place, and now, this does require a lot of testing, so bear with me. It is going to flip from preview to design, from preview to design, an awful lot. Now, we want our design to be consistent, and we want to use all the elements we can within Muse. So, I'm using the align panel to make sure that's done. Now notice it's applied the graphic style to the two elements of a menu. It's applied it to the box, but also the text box. Even selecting none doesn't get rid of this. So, in my opinion, just simply get rid of it from the text box. And there you go, it's fixed. The colors are wrong at this stage, but of course we're only just working on it. So. Now, that isn't a true reflection of what it will be like on the web. Very close, but not the true. Let's move it up, and we'll preview it again, just to see. Okay, well the spacing between them both is better, but it does seem to be extremely faded, doesn't it? You know, compared to that welcome box. Anyway, we'll work on that a bit later even though the style is consistent. Now, also with the home, what's going on, and venue hire words, we're going to need to set up a paragraph style, so that it's the same as this welcome. So, click on that. Paragraph style 1, rename it, and we're going to rename this one menu, because it's going to be similar to the welcome, or the word welcome, but not exactly, because we need it to be smaller in size. and with a simple click, menu. Now notice it's copied the exact size, but we don't need that, so let's make it 18, and obviously with a few tweaks along the way. Now 
Now we're just checking to see if everything fits in. That menu, what's going on? It's very tight. I don't like it. I hate it. So we need to adjust that. Now at this point we're just adjusting the size of it because that menu, Saturday nights, it keeps adjusting. So we're going to continue refining it all the way. Now notice at this point, just over here the menu has a little plus icon. I'll show you how to sort that out in a bit. Okay, so we've sorted out the size of the text, uh, we've sorted out the uh, sub-menu, and now we're just adjusting everything so that it neatly fits on. I'm still not happy with that size, so let's go in, let's adjust it. Now 14 is massively small, 15 and 16. So we can see that before, 16 wasn't the true reflection of that color, uh, of that font, sorry. Just checking that that's in the center. Now let's apply that to Saturday nights. Now did you notice it reverted back to its original size? Now to get rid of that arrow I've redefined the style and that's been reflected back into the Saturday nights menu or sub menu even. So to get rid of that plus, simply right click and you can either clear overrides or redefine style. Now I want to edit the original, which is going to show me where the file is, what it looks like. Okay, so we're looking at a TIFF file and we're going to want to go into Photoshop to edit it. Because we would like the colour to be consistent with the type. So now you're getting a really good nosy of all my files. Let's go down. Nope. Bamba. And there we go. So, the quickest way I would uh, do this. Select everything within that layer. Solid color. Get your hexadecimal code. Copy it in back into Photoshop, copy it into the relevant spot. There we go. Now, at this point, do turn off that bottom layer because otherwise you're going to end up with an, an annoying white haze. Don't forget to save this. And the great thing with Muse is we can save it as native Photoshop files. It works with them brilliantly, and when it uploads it, turns them into TIFFs or JPEGs accordingly and optimizes them. Absolutely brilliant. So then we don't have to have loads of different file types, we can just keep it Photoshop. Beautiful. Okay. So, that fade is still too much, but everything's going okay. Now, notice that welcome. It's changed because we've redefined the style. So, we don't really need it linked, but I do remember it was 72 point and ragged left. And we're going to unlink the style, because then, anything that was going to happen to those menus, because they're linked to that paragraph style, it would have reflected back again onto that welcome. So by unlinking it, we've broken it. Now we're just adjusting everything. And that really does need sorting because it is getting on my nerves that fade in the background, but 
but for the purpose of this tutorial it does absolutely fine now at this point I'm just simply checking the opacity because they are so drastically different I don't know if you've noticed but it is starting to bug me so I'm going to go into the menu and I'm going to see what the opacity is of that menu now the box was coming out at 43% and again that one's coming out at 43% and it's white so a little bit strange but maybe it's because of the type of background so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the opacity to 75 this isn't going to do a thing it's just going to put an annoying white box on and we're going to lose everything so don't do that and that concludes the tutorial it's very basic but thanks for watching